topic of today's life, we looked at if a man should be supported by his girlfriend or his uh, wife to be in pain, her bright price. And um, it ended up being a controversial. Show. So, and we have, we, we are not done dealing with that. Today, we are adding salt on injury, love, and bright price on today's life. Solomon Sambo Sabi is right here. Jamima Emmanuel is right here. Looking armed and dangerous. <laughs> Joyce Jakada, who is always standing on the solid frock, is right here. But by the end of the show, <laughs> she'll be standing on a solid sand. <laughs> Love and bright prize. I am, I am very optimistic about why we chose the topic people fall in love they get to the point where they should make that commitment but then the bright price scares them away so is that a controversy is culture staying in the way of love is culture depriving people of fulfilling their purpose in a relationship can the culture be done without which one is more important is it the love that is more important than the culture or the culture that is more important than the love but however we are looking at love and bright price should we place love on top of bright price or bright price should be placed on top of love let's start the show by that I thought you'd be quiet. I'll keep talking <laughs> till 2 30 p.m. Love Thank comes. you, Solo, for attempting. Yes. I feel, personally, I feel love should come first. Because it is from that that you start talking bright price. Mm. So I, I feel uh, love should come first. Well, in case you are not aware, the, the show is live on our social media platforms. And I have my phone here. The number that you can you can participate on the show, you can... Even if you send me a voice note, believe me, I will, I will, I will play it out on this show. So, the show is up. is on Facebook at Equa Television. Feel free. The WhatsApp number is right there on the screen. Feel free. I tell you, brother, feel free to say that thing that is in your mind. You can remain anonymous. If you want us to know who you are, go ahead. But we are up on the platform as well. We have um, the WhatsApp platform. You can reach us through that place. That's the number on the screen. Love should come first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because bright price... Without which, there is no bright price. <laughs> <laughs> Love should come first. Because mm -hmm. years down the line, nobody would think of how much bright price you paid. Love still stands the test of time. Okay. Joyce Jakada, you have a contrary opinion as usual. <laughs> well, I think that the value you place on the person you love um, stands years after. Last week when we began the conversation, uh, I was almost, I was really worried at the, at, at the reactions that I got, especially from some brothers. Mm saying that um, there's nothing wrong in a lady assisting the man to pay the bride price. Mm. Who initiated the bride price? Mm. It's, it's tradition. You hear people saying, I'm proudly Magavul, I'm proudly Tarok, I'm proudly this, um, uh, a gong, I'm proudly Igbo, I'm proudly Yoruba. And then proudly when when Tugani. when the when the culture shows itself or when the tradition shows itself that see, if you say you love this lady, if you want us to give her to you, you should be able to bring gifts, bring, pay the bride price. And then at that point, it is from the guy, it is from the man or from his family to the lady's parents. And then you hear uh, people saying or some men saying that the lady should assist in paying. If you are asked to pay 100000 the lady should be able to give you 30000 to, to complete or hear guys say after all it's for her if it's for her what is the tradition saying that you pay 
you give it out. And I asked this question while I was thinking about most of the people I responded to. If your sister or your daughter is getting married and then you fix a certain price that should be given, would you want your daughter or your sister to contribute in that payment? The reactions you get is different. They say, no, I wouldn't want her to do, I, I, I don't want, it won't happen. So why are you expecting somebody's daughter to contribute in paying the bride price? If you can raise, out of 100,000, if you can raise 70,000, why not the lady play a part of pleading with her people to understand that this is your fin uh, your financial status? And they accepting the seventy thousand instead of her completing the thirty thousand. I, I I was talking about the value you place on that lady is the bride price. Okay, down the lane, if you're asking her to pay and she assume your own role as the head of the home, how would you feel? Because we have instances where at the end of the day, the lady will say, "Yeah, she paid it." So you can't set the rules. She would. You can't come up telling her, oh, don't go here, don't do this, don't do that. After all, she paid the bride price. So she should be the one to be, take the tune. So in my opinion, I think that the man should take responsibility, like full responsibility of paying the bride price. If you really love the lady, you should do that. Mm -hmm. So you can't, people make excuses like, ah, I love her, she loves me, so bride price should not come or all of that if you are proudly whatever language you say and the tradition is saying that you should do this you should be able to do that proudly as well <laughs> well uh it's 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 there on um on facebook the show is up feel free to make your comment let's know what you feel about love and bride price because bride price has become something that when it, it gets to People get scared, so their their commitment stays stagnant at that point, because they start thinking, "Well, truly, I'm in love with this girl. My earning a whole year is not as much as what these people are asking me. So if I earn <clears throat> a million in a year, and these people are asking me five million just to marry their daughter." What's that? I said I earn a million naira in, in a month, year. in a year. Yeah, and then in they the six asking, months they are asking I'm me to pay six five million yeah. to marry their daughter. Yeah, yeah. The, but but you you see, brothers think fast. Hmm. The five million that you are asking me has nothing to do with canopy rentals. It has nothing to do with reception, That's the true. feeding, and all that. So brothers put everything together closely, and they, they are like, wow. So I'm spending ten million to get married. If I have ten million, wouldn't I start a business? Wouldn't I? And and moreover, we have friends that we talk to. B brothers, we have friends that we talk to. Man, see what these people are charging me, and I love their daughter and all of that. That that is why some people even run with people's children. And then the next time your daughter is showing up, she's disfigured. She's dragging this child there, dragging this one there, and then uh, you know they say that's your merit for not wanting us to just go in peace and get married. The bride price is very important because for some people it's cultural and it's extremely valued and you cannot do without that. If, if anywhere you go to it's just it might just be a different thing but it happens that way. There are places you go to, people are in love relationship, living for 15 years, they are not married. They have six kids but they are not married. And then <laughs> There is something worse than uh, bride price for these people. You have child support, you have prenuptials, mm. you have, okay, let me not list them before you start thinking that I have children there. Uh -huh. So you, you have all of these things, <laughs> you have all of these things to, to, to deal with, you know. But here in our own culture, there are people who tell you what the father of the bride, the mother of the bride, her sisters and her brothers, what they are wearing on that wedding. It's your responsibility. You have two goats to bring for the father. One for the mother. Six for her uncle. Seventy-four for her, her <laughs> grandfather that is, is dead. You know, we it, it, it reduces the commitment of some men when brothers are in, in a committed relationship. And then you start thinking, who is imposing this law on me? Should I accept this law? 
Some people even go to the extent to say, look, I'm a Christian. I'm, I can't do this. You are not marrying a Christian. You are marrying a traditionalist. Because, you see, sir, even the Bible recognizes this culture. When you want to marry from XYZ family, don't just planning dinner dates, take her out and all of that. No. There is a bigger picture. There is something you should think of before the time comes. What is it? The bride price. The bride price is just one item out of so many. You have the first visit to introduce yourself. You go there with your friends. The second one is to declare your intentions. You and uncles and some, you know, brothers and all of that. That's when they will tell you, okay, since you want, this is what you pay when you want to marry our daughter. And then when you take that, you start thinking. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what in the world is this? Because you have to think. And then you meet the girl. Are you serious that where you come from, if I love you dearly, I have to prove it by doing this thing? Mm. So now, the thing has left the girl's hand. She, at that point, she doesn't have any single thing she can do. What can she do? She can only talk to her parents if need be. And that was where, that was why we talked about the issue of should the lady support her man in paying the bride price house for last week, and that 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 um, that topic really uh, it touched a lot of people. It touched a lot of people. We 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 are not saying that um, if you are broke, don't get married. No. And if love has taken you to the place where people celebrate marriage like that should be ready for it. I have an uncle. He's still alive. But his wife died. And they never got married. She just got pregnant. And Guess what? The tradition of these people said, says that you have to dance with the dead body. You have to do things that husband so you have to marry her before they bury her and you have to do the things that people do with dead bodies with uh, with wives during the wedding first dance second dance give her cake kiss your bride kiss a dead woman so you 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 have to know when you meet a lady hey how are you what's your name what's your name where are you from? <laughs> hey, how are you? What's your name? Where are you from? <laughs> hey, what's your name? Camera girl. What's your name? What's where are you from? Go be oh ah, we going. You see? So you have to know there are places that you'll not be accepted. It's not like they don't like you, but they have policies that will drive you. B A S S A. How can you go to Bassa to look for a wife? I'm still talking. <laughs> See, be careful, dogs. So, if truth be told, let's let's be serious about this thing. Marriage is a very very serious thing. People take it very very lightly. That is why you have problems upon problems upon problems. See. Bringing parents into your marital affairs is important at some stages. But at some stages, you have to be man enough to deal with it at home. Hmm. There was one time I told my mom uh, about a lady. My mother, any fair lady, <laughs> if you are fair, my mother has problems. I said, but see your daughter. <laughs> dress. We have, I have a sister, her name is Dress. See, see your daughter, she's fair too. You know, and my mother doesn't want to hear anything that passes Abuja. That Kogi, uh, Edo, all these places. My mother is afraid. You know, it, it, you can't blame her. Because from that side too, they are afraid of this side. Except for now that we have, um, we have outgrown all of this mentality that our ancient, our forefathers used to have and then they won against. In fact, in those days, 
if you are not buji, you can't marry George. In those days, that's what it is. You are like bringing a stranger. No, it's not accepted. But should we continue to have this tradition? I've heard people argue the fact that, see, this issue of bride Christ is not biblical. You understand? It's just tradition. And that has um, stopped or it has hindered a lot of people from continuing their process of like marriage. There are a lot of young men out there that, okay, they've been in relationship. The time it's there, they want to get married, they want to settle with this lady. But then the first stage of showing yourself to the family, already spending all your savings. Like, why should we continue to have this culture? Some people you see that in the in the family they ask you to bring ten cows in some cultures. Ten cows from where? When you're trying to explain yourself that you don't have this, and then the family are saying that is just it. Worse if they have a, a situation where the girl is cooled, like it's it's another different. It adds up. It it adds up, and we have instances where guys go up, like they show up. Okay, I want to settle. I want to get married, and then once they get the list, they just say it's like you just marry yourself. That's if they are even bold enough to tell you. Others will just go mute and that ends it. That's why a lot of brothers are single. They just, and some Should just... Should we say brothers are single or sisters are single? <laughs> Both ways. That's, that, that's why a lot of sisters are single. <laughs> brothers too. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> the, you see, the brother, the brother, I'm not arguing. Mm. But I think that if the brother wants to get married next week, he can. But the sister cannot. Mm. Who are you marrying? But the brother, the can, one that is prepared and ready you now. Yeah, the one that is ready. You we, see, you have to accept the fact that uh, you are a lesser being than us. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> see, you know the same girl that you. If said, you are watching, that is just a joke. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just stroking on Joyce. But you have to understand that um, as a lady, you have to sit still and wait. Brothers don't wait. They are the ones who go. So the longer they stay not coming, the longer you wait. That's why I said that the brother can decide that, look, in December I'm getting married. And he will. Why? Because there are so many women out there, the right ones and the wrong ones. We are not talking about him picking the right one. We are just talking about him deciding and doing it. It's possible. But you cannot decide that in December you are getting married and you do it. You see, I, I think they are... Because lot. you are supposed to be found. Mm-hmm. Processes are supposed to be, you know, seen and observed. I can facilitate that. Okay, let's Me hear Me being it. found. Let's hear it. <laughs> because a lot of people are watching and mm-hmm. they want to learn a lot mm-hmm. of things. Yeah. You see, I, I saw a lady made a post last week and she said, how can I... That probably her husband must have is is pos- possibly married to another person and this is the reason she said that she's always at home even if she goes out the gathering that she's going to is women even if she has to go to somewhere that is mixed she goes with her brother that everybody thinks is her boyfriend so for her somebody that needs that won't, maybe is interested in her seeing her with this person will just assume that oh this lady is already taken or that if she doesn't show up in gathering or in places that she will be found, how would somebody see her and even know that you're actually existing? So you can actually make yourself, position yourself, not going out to say I'm available, but you can position yourself to be found. Most of the people that are married to this, there's definitely a place where there was a meeting point. For some people, like as surprisingly as it is, is that very like burial ground that they met like you all went for a burial ceremony and then you saw this lady you're interested in and for some at wedding for some maybe birthday celebration for some in church for some like one thing or the other brought you guys together and then you uh, i like this person i like how she speaks i like how coordinated she is and then it's called the conversation and you got to where you are some it was on facebook social media like they started saying hi and this and so you can position yourself as a lady to be found and of course you would be so you can also pray about it that god i i think i'm ready and god can also help you so position Mm. of she Mm. going about attending women conferences she's uh, what what do you mean by putting herself in 
What position do you mean? You just mentioned where she do go. Uh, you understand? So I'm just asking. Burial ground. That was the <laughs> point. Please don't go to the burial ground. You said that's where that, that is possible that so a man what, can find what, you there and marry she? you there. Not me. She can be found. Who is a she I'm, that you are putting burial ground on her story? Oh, and you are removing <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so what is she doing at that time? Positioning wa- at that at that time of waiting. You see, I just believe. No, if she he, just advised girls to roam around so that. No, you know what to roam about to roam <laughs> rightly. Position yourself. Don't go. Hey, roam rightly. <laughs> <laughs> I I just believe that if she's doing the right thing, and then um, that man that God des- designed for her can still find her. She's on bed every day, in a it, year, she's just in the house. You find her how? Okay. Somebody can die in the house. Then you go and visit. <laughs> she will come out. What if she refused to come out? She ki- she she's come the out? one that killed the person. <laughs> that see? means she's not worthy you to see? be married. You see, there's, there's one particular... <laughs> Even in coming you out see? to be greeted, mm. you are positioning yourself. Even <laughs> what? Coming out to what? <laughs> Please, this it's show is English. Like if <laughs> this show is English, say what you just said in English. Let's hear <laughs> Even when she comes out to receive the greeting, mm. eh, is her positioning herself. Uh-uh. It's, you see, when, when when we say ladies, you have to put yourself in the place to be found. Mm. We don't say go out in, with the intentional mm. of being found. Mm. We are just saying expose the qualities mm. embedded within you. These are the things that men go for. Mm. As is mm-hmm. men that have sense. Yes. But, uh, so don't they just love look unconditionally. at Yeah, what? They, I thought they love unconditionally, like without a reason. So why should I put the qualities for you to see and come to me? I didn't say we're not talking about approaching. Mm. We are not talking about love now. We're talking about approaching. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Okay. Because a man has to see what he likes. Whether you like it or not, men love unconditionally. Yes, but first of all, you have to see what you want. You have to see what you want, then you go for it. You love on the premise that you can be provided for, you can be taken care of, you can be satisfied, you can be... You, all of these things are, are factors factors that you consider. Men don't really care that, 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 that well about that. But you see, there are things that men are looking for. Once they, found, when, once they find, it is automatic... You know we are forgetting that you are in the show, so we should be turning <laughs> once in a while. It should be auto. That's your merit for sitting on that chair. It should, <laughs> it, sh- it, sh- it should be automatic that hey, this is it. And once it is found, the brother starts working it out. But for ladies, it is continual. When you stop being who you are, the man still loves you. Because when men love, sometimes it's difficult to go back. But when women love, sometimes when you stop being a provider, when you stop being the man that she saw, she starts thinking otherwise. And she starts painting the picture of who you are in a light that you are not. But I don't think it's general. Like, like I mean all women. Because I see women that, okay, you know, the man is the head of the home. He's mm. the provider and mm. all. There are some that find themselves in situations that they cannot provide. Mm. Like, not that she got married to him, he cannot provide. But eventually, is something Is the woman comfortable with that? She's not comfortable, but you see, she that's, still loves that's, him. That's the point. It, you, 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 may not, you, you may not be her. Mm. Because there is no woman that will not express herself in that kind of situation. There is no woman. Mm. But guess what? We are talking about the ones that take the explanation or the expression to the extreme. There is no woman that has never complained about her husband. It's just that some, they will only talk to their mom and that's it. Some, they will talk to their dad and that's it. Some, they will talk to their sister and their parents are not aware and that's it. Some, is their friends. (laughs) These are the wicked women. Because the Bible says when you are married, a man, the two of you have become one. Mm. Ma, anything I can't tell my mother or my father, I should shut up. Yes. But you see, when you tell friends 
they are they are not even extended family they are not even family look at the story you gave was it yesterday or a day before on today's life about a lady who went and told on her friend you see you cannot trust somebody enough to start telling your deepest secrets that's your husband and when things go sour people will look for ways for you to make amends when you do how satisfied will you be that you told your husband's secret to the world because one lady out there is the world why is she the world because she can never ever hold that to herself it's just a matter of time two three years she might be quiet but just wait till she's married you know we don't keep secrets and hey you even remember that my friend joyce Hmm. The husband is to beat her, and I'm the only one that is aware. How can you be when you just told someone? Married women are, are being married you know, but and I've said this on today's life. I, I've said this on today's life. A man knows his weakness. He's not comfortable about it. Every man knows his weakness and is working on it. But guess what? When Hassan finds out that this is my weakness from my wife, the hatred that the man starts building. Oh my God. Nobody, a man does not do well knowing that his secret is out there. Remember what you were telling me off the camera yesterday about um, a particular family. I think the issue is, yes, that problem is there. But guess what? When you start proving to a man that you want to be the reason why he will change, he will not take it. He will, not, he will never take it. And you see, so certain things why bright price and love should play together is that you should be sensitive enough to be friends with the girl before taking her to the level of relationship, love relationship. Mm. That point of friendship is the point of finding out certain things about your love life Certain things about your culture. I mean, we met in Jos. You are from Taraba. I am from Meduguri, far apart as night and day. There is no way that I can marry you from Taraba with Jos culture. There's no way. I think that's where a lot of people get it from. You hear guys saying, in my place, it's almost free. It's in not place, your you place. Don't... She's not from your place. And that is the point I'm establishing. Mm. That's the point I'm establishing. You are meeting a girl that is from Taraba. And then you, you are from maybe Port Harcourt. Mm. And then you met in Kaduna. Mm. And then you tell her, you say, yeah, in Kaduna, that's, how, that's not how they, they marry. Oh, well, I'm just living here in case you are not aware. Yeah, I am from. And even me, I can't tell you. But the best that I know is seven goats, eight this, three that for introduction. This one, that one, that one for this. Bright price is the discretion of family. So I can't tell. But this, these certain things, you must bring it. Mm. So it's not cheap to marry these days. Mm. It's not. So people are asking, should we go out of the relationship? No, no but, but find out. <laughs> find out. These are things you cannot cross mm. into marriage. Mm. You have to fulfill them. Mm. You know, some families talk, they say, you see, this boy is a Christian. He loves God. He truly loves our daughter. Mm. And he's not strong financially right now to be able to do this. So I think that the best thing to do is that we should exercise some discretion. That's why some families even go to the extent of setting up a business for the boy before marrying their daughter. But some people take advantage of, of such things, you know. But if for me, I would, I would say that no matter how he loves my daughter, I want to see how faithful he will be in loving her after marrying her before I know what to invest in his life. Because the heart of man is hidden. You can't see it like you are watching everything. You can't see it that way. You know, we, we talk about love as uh, it was on Friday. We we're talking about true love and then social media. You see, love, like I defined it, is. Has Jamima said anything on this? <laughs> love is okay, commitment. Yet, are <laughs> love is commitment. Love is devotion. Mm. Love is understanding. Love is sacrifice. See, how truly do you love that person that you're in relationship with? It will help solve a lot of problems. For some people, they just go to, they love or they go into relationship for what, one reason or the other, what they will get. Like they're looking at 
it being an advantage to them not looking at how it can be of help they can be of help to another person you know i was i was in the public transport and i uh, you know how conversations can just start and i was hearing kinney how the tricycle driver was talking about how that now no man wants to marry a liability like everybody's looking out how that you can assist him because he was asking oh you are back from work he was, i said no not back from work what do you do how he was very interested in what i was doing and i said nothing nothing he was really amazed i said yes nothing and he said wow so in these days i can find a lady like this doing nothing i said yes no i thought men want ladies that uh, they can like they are not doing anything you can have the say and everything that no you should also be able to contribute you should also he kept mentioning that no nobody will come for a lady that so you see as they are looking out for what they will get they are also looking at how you can help in some of them how you can help in paying the bright price and that's why a guy can comfortably say say that ah uh, are you not the one that will marry why won't you pay certain percent of the bright price if the parents are giving the bright price for the lady to pay then they won't even give you in the first place they will just say okay since you are capable just pay the bright price now we know you have it and then bring the man you want to marry and then marry him in some countries is the ladies that pay the bright price for the man but in our what's the tradition of that person that you're into relationship with saying like engineer tony rightly said since last week see you are going into relationship it's not just about the lady where is she coming from you truly love her you should know where she's coming from and then uh what the tradition or what the culture says as young ladies there are some people that will come to you and you just say no from the first instance why because you know where they are coming from you know how their culture is i remember back then watching like nigerian movies and you see how that some cultures treat ladies especially when the husband is dead and then and we are like ah i can't get married to this because you mm. have asked question and for some of the people they tell yes that's how tradition especially when you're not from that place and no wonder some of our parents who will tell you that see this particular culture that particular culture be careful because at that point you're on your own if anything happened and we've seen experiences of ladies that actually dead their parent and got married and the story was not really good and that is why you boldly tell a guy that comes from certain place that no so the relationship that you are going to the lady that you're saying i love you how far do you want the relationship to go he said when you are in relationship there is a time that you start seeing that see this thing is beyond mushy feelings i think i like this person the energy is good i want to spend the rest of my life with this with her or with him start asking question about where they come from you recall that I said something uh, when God created Adam. The first thing he gave him was work. You are in relationship, a very serious relationship. You are not doing anything and you want to get married to this lady. You are even blackmailing her when you see another guy coming to her. That her have been in relationship with you. I have uh, the intention is to marry you. Why are you cheating? Why are you following? And you, you are doing nothing. You don't even have plans to uh, start saving or you are not even saving to even prepare. You are not even saying anything in terms of marriage but you want her to stay with you because she loves you and then you love her there is a price and that is why the scripture says recognize the place of the parent in in getting married you have to go and meet her parent and when they agree and are, okay they they have to consent to whatever because it's their daughter and in consenting they are saying you need to bring this you should be able to do that that's the value that in fact you can't even pay for somebody somebody say that are they selling the daughter and that is why he said i will pay but after this payment none of you will come to my house he was telling the bride that none of her parents will come to the house if he pays <laughs> that dowry because he, he has bought her already you have become a, a commodity so they are treating you like a commodity <laughs> what what so long so is not too long let him say it because you should talk for a long time say what you saw <laughs> you know is there a social media that they said the guy was saying hey yeah, babe i love you mm. and then the reply was like uh you see the book of job came before Rom- romans mm. so go and get a job <laughs> before <laughs> you will start romancing <laughs> someone's daughter yeah 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 that that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense <laughs> yeah so so i, I get I, a job mm. there's no there's no room for irresponsibility in marriage mm. because the bible made it clear i think in all of the religions that i've studied 
about love and marriage, it is clear that the man is a provider. Mm. Mm. So how can you provide without a job? Mm. Mm. How would you even start the foundation of the relationship with the lady paying the bride price? Um, stand in a very big way. Mm. I feel when you are not being able to meet up with the bride price and everything, there, there shouldn't really be a go ahead. I have two scenarios. Um, this man wanted to get married to this lady and he couldn't meet up with the bride price requirements and e- everything. And the parents insisted, they were adamant that he has to meet up. Mm. When he couldn't, both of them absconded. And mm. they got married. Eventually, when you say both of them, he left with their daughter. Yes, okay. yes. Mm. He eventually got a good job and got for her as well. And then he was able to afford all of those things they asked um, him for. And when he brought it, the father refused. He said he was not going to accept mm. because he left with their child. And it's like in that culture, if they don't accept the bride price before you you going with the daughter you going with the daughter there is a cause that follow and it really followed her because when she took in at childbirth she died the daughter yes so it's like that is the cause if you're not able to meet up and pay everything before you go with the child you lose the wife he he got the child but the wife died so for him at that point he had a lot of regret like okay so the question now is should he have um left the love and just go looking for the money to come back and pay for her he felt he didn't have all of that time because there were many other people that were coming for her hand in marriage mm-hmm. and the father of course was seeing many other people that could easily afford it mm-hmm. so he didn't want to lose his chance so he went with her but in the mm-hmm. long run she died and then this second scenario is that this man had should all we, the should, money should we t- this, this, this first thing because it's okay. a very touchy thing okay yes. okay yes. before you bring up the second yeah, so it really got me scared. Like, okay, when it there is love and you cannot meet up, should you just let go? Unfortunately, I would say yes. Unfortunately. Okay. Look at my reason for saying yes, Joyce. Is it sweeter that she died? Or is it sweeter that you went ahead to look for money? And even when you came back, somebody has married her. Which one is more painful? The parents have lost their daughter. You have lost your wife. The, the child baby has will lost grow his not to know his mother. Mm-hmm. You see, that is why I was saying earlier. Mm-hmm. Find out this culture thing. Mm-hmm. Even the girls that we are involved with, mm-hmm. they hardly even know their own culture. Mm-hmm. So go and discuss with your parents. Know it. Know the nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. Inside of this thing, marriage is not man and wife. Mm-hmm. It's family and family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are from Enugu and the boys from Kano, two different worlds, mm. and you are coming together. Go and find out. Not just don't, don't just find out what to marry a lady from Enugu. Mm-mm. Find out as well what it costs to live with her. Mm. Because some of us just find out, okay, if I pay this, would you accept that I marry your daughter? And then it's a yes. Then you pay it. And then they tell you, ah, Tau, well done, our son-in-law. You know that anytime you give birth, if it's a boy, you bring two cows. If it's a girl, you bring four. But you didn't tell me, yes, I, you know, the court is, is being is long. Step we by don't, step. So, you know, ask all of these things because you are going to be involved. Mm. You are going to be involved with mm. so many things. Mm. It's not just to know the parents, to know the girl. And to know the culture. No, you need you even need to know the character of everybody in that family. Mm. That is why I said, look, from the initial stage, mm. they call it talking stage. Mm. Talk well. Mm-hmm. Don't just talk like Joy said, just those is not about being mushy. No. It extends. In fact, that is not the point of being mushy because at that point she's just your friend. Yes. Mm. You want to marry Yoruba? Do you know how many Yorubas we have in this in this country? We have Yorubas from Ijebu. They tell you that our own is totally different from, from, from Kwara Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Kwara Yoruba will tell you our own is different from Lagos Yoruba. Your Lagos Yoruba will say Ibadan. That one is their Yoruba on their own. That's how I run from Anambra. Anambra? Uh, they told me that their own is different. You would have married Igbo. Other, mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been Baba Chinedu or Baba Ezokwe in Chukwe. 
Okay. Oh, no, okay. That's not the reason. Because I <laughs> just, no, just because of my friend is way. <laughs> Look at it this way. Look at it this way. Anytime is eleven thirty. The time starts running twice as fast. So we should just be. We should rush our point before you know round up we'll, we'll okay, in line with your let me just finish this point sorry joyce so you see that is one apart from knowing the girl know the culture know everything that talking stage is not a love stage it is time that you need to take out to know her personally know her culture personally find out the things that you cannot take from a woman if she has these qualities or not bright price should be the last thing you should think of in knowing this girl so you find out are all of these qualities there okay she doesn't have this one but i can work on it okay it's fine so when when they want to marry in your place what do they do even by asking these questions knowing her already intimacy is coming together between you you already you are knowing her already she's knowing already she's liking you more you are liking her more by the time you find out all these things and you are willing to settle with them, it will be very easy to fall in love. Because you are not falling in love with a stranger. Of course, there are surprises that will come. You know, <laughs> several things will come up and all of that. But if you are a man, you should be able to deal with these surprises if they are not extremely... Uh -huh. But you just meet a girl. The only thing is, on Friday, hey, our uh, guy said we should not go to work. Babe, me and you, from morning, that's all. You meet her. It is this romance after this. It is this sexual uh, nature of things after that. That's the only thing you do. Then reality storms. And then you are like, eh? They used to, babe, just like seven million or to marry you. Ah, I can't do. Okay. If I have that money, why wouldn't I establish this? After all you have gone through, this is what you would have done. Then you ask. For the bright price, yeah, then you I, know. I, I Joyce was in the middle you know of okay. That, I, sorry, sir. I, I no, she has been talking since. Okay, so it's like, a question so, that mm, needed him to respond. Yeah, because she has another well. question. Let's yes. get <laughs> You know, there are some guys that are opining in that. Okay, when don't worry now, we know how to deal with the parents. Once they come up with that humongous amount of money or demand, you just get the girl pregnant, and you don't have any choice than to just give you the girl. And she goes price. and die. So, so you get the, maybe she doesn't even die eventually, but how happy. Would you be that this is the foundation of the marriage? Mm. How happy would you be when the lady start gives in, giving you headache and then you who would you want to run to? Mm. Or how happy would would you be when the prop the marriage start having like different forms of issues? How happy would you be? So you see, resorting to even is the lady fertile, just get her pregnant and then that ends it. It shouldn't even be the option. As as uh, I, I know that some people are arguing that it's not even biblical and all of that. Once you love the lady, you should you can just marry her. That's why some people just abscond with the bride and it's empty there. But recognize the place of the parent because even the Bible recognizes the place of the parent in marriage. So if you are able to do that, like he rightly explained, the talking stage should not just be about mushy feelings. People, young people today avoid such conversation. Like that has to do with understanding yourselves and where you come from. The conversation is usually usually about is, if the girl is not asking, where will you take me to this latest place to take a pizza and this? The guy is asking, how would you come and spend the whole day with me or spend the, the weekend, weekend with me? That's what the conversation and that eat? moment. What did you eat? The moment where the reality will come. That's when you start saying that me, I cannot marry you. How can I use spend this money if I even have the money? Why wouldn't I establish a business? Mm. We should establish our relationship on the right foundation. Is I think that will help. You see, okay, quickly. This, this, this love that we are talking, mm. any genuine relationship is a business. So nobody should tell you, if I have this money, I should go and establish a business. That's an insult to any reasonable woman. Because if I'm coming with a genuity, that means it's a business, me and you, we are going to raise godly children, to bring different in the society that is corrupt, so the foundation matters. You see, th the thing is that you know you can blame the both sides because you come, you don't want to talk the hard talk. It is 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 quite unfortunate because you have friends, you have families that come to you and talk to you in a manner that you feel so bad that you wish. Do you know the reason is that some is 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 
exposure to information. Like we say, you talk about issue of some some people will just come and impregnate somebody and just and just take the girl simply because they feel they are in love. Some is just illusion. It's not truly in love. Because you find that same people when trouble start and then the man is saying, after all, I didn't marry you. Is that love? We, we saw some uh, circumstances like that and we saw some that, yes, it can just be like they normally say, accidental. Right? But you will see counseling from the elders. You will see holding them, torturing them, like teaching them the way of the Lord. And you will see them living perfectly than the people that even have the best jamboree of wedding. Like after two months or six months, they are, everybody is going apart because everybody is feeling he, he arrived. Is it the kind of, of, of a godly home that God desire we should bring? So I feel it, it starts from what do you want? You as a lady, are you bold enough to any man that you will meet, whether he's top, middle, or bottom, for you to talk the real hard talk? Because this is who I am, this is my value, and this is my religion, this is what I believe. What do you have to bring on the table? Is it going to work? This is who I am. If it's not going to work, come on, let's just go on our, our separate path. See, is, I is feel that, that's is just that, it. Is that part, is that part, that talking stage, that you need to make this decision? Yes. If it doesn't work, you leave that way nobody is losing anything yes because uh, the only thing you lose is the few money you have spent taking her out buying out the ne- unnecessary <laughs> things hope fee, hope hoping that mm-hmm. yes um, they bought then... you many things you <laughs> <laughs> and like then he Bible. Feel like didn't they buy you things why are you dodging it no they bought me things okay, okay. So go ahead. <laughs> fat established pastor so really i don't things. think I don't think they sh- he should feel like he's spending so much money instead of investing. Are you not the, the one Bible that has clearly said question. yes. The Bible clearly said he who finds a wife finds a good thing and mm, obtains obtain the favor from the Lord. He didn't say he who finds Lord. a girl. Uh, yes, so he's trying to find uh-huh. a wife. So my second scenario here is this man had um, a lot. He had the capacity to do all that they asked him for, bride price requirement and every other thing, mm. and he felt it was outrageous. It was really outrageous, mm. I feel, also. So he tried to talk to the lady, and she wasn't really interested in talking to the parents because she felt he could easily do it. He tried talking, talking, talking. When she was not responding, he decided to go ahead and shoulder the whole responsibility. He did everything 100% by himself, but he carried a grudge in his heart. Sure. Like, even when he got married to her, he made sure she had everything she needed. But he, after the marriage, he told her, all these things you have, that's the last you would have you will not have any other thing again you can't go and visit your parents none of them can come here and he took her out of nigeria because he was always living out of nigeria he just came to get married she never visited them they never visited her even when she had her first child where's he didn't the, allow the them no, to where's yes so for him he feel like this was something that they should have understood he was willing to take care of this girl even after the marriage forever. But then with all they did, he had so much grudge in him and he didn't agree to do anything. When her own sister was getting married and the family were trying to seek for his financial help, he just totally refused at all. So for me, bride price and love, if you feel like you cannot do just stop it. That's there's no it. There's, see, nobody you, can tie a rope when, on your neck and say you must do this. Don't even do. so for me, holding a grudge wasn't necessary. You would have just called off the wedding. When yes. people start thinking that if Joyce is gone, I am finished. I can never be in a love relationship. Mm. No, there are things you are going to miss about her. True. Truly. But there might even be a better Joyce out there. Yes. But we, we, we just feel that once you are with one person, you are stuck. It's not so. I don't mm. feel so. Mm. You know? Mm. So what what's the most hateful thing about I want us to impress the, uh, <laughs> the timekeepers of the show today. Let's impress them. <laughs> what is the most painful thing about love and bride price for you? Okay, I, I feel people place wrong priority when it comes to love and and bride price. Mm-hmm. People people see some rather mm-hmm. see uh, bride price mm-hmm. as uh, something that you can just go and maneuver your way mm. while your intentions are wrong. Mm. Hmm. And, uh, for me, I think 
think it's how that some parents try to take advantage of of this this culture or this tradition while we know that the bible recognizes the place of the parents mm-hmm. i don't think it's an opportunity for you to sell your child mm-hmm. but it's just like an appreciation or a gift that you're asking for mm-hmm. so you shouldn't see it as an opportunity to commodify your child so that you don't build um like hateful relationship and for the guy if you love the lady i don't think it should be a problem you're paying bright price but you're grumbling and holding grudges Mm -hmm. see it also as an opportunity to appreciate um or place value on that gift that you you're going to be giving Mm -hmm. so like i said earlier on it was work before um adam got eve so get make sure that your talking stage like is really about understanding not just about mushy feelings in as in as much as love is a prerequisite for you settling down with someone when it gets to the place of bright price and you cannot afford it just step down it is okay you're not a failure when you do that and you would eventually meet a better person when you are more ready in the future Mm, and also people should consider that some people take their culture even more serious yes. than your marriage. Yes. So, like that lady that had to die, mm. if the parents knew that this boy took this girl somewhere, and most definitely he's not taking her somewhere to train her in school, mm. he's taking her somewhere to get married to her. Mm. O- automatically, they knew because of the existence of that culture, mm. our daughter is gone. Mm. So if there was something they could have done, by accepting that bride, no, brought. to avert the death, mm. that means it was really out mm. of their hand. Yes, and was. that's what I want people to 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 understand that some some people take their culture more serious mm. because they don't have anything to do. There are people that will say, "Okay, you have two children, but remember, you have not paid bride price. You have not done this. You have not done that. Mm. Try and come back and do it all. Mm. Try and come back and do it all." Mm. There are some blessings that will be pronounced yes, yes. upon you. If you don't do it sometimes, it's really as a Christian, we don't know what to say. Any cause can be broken if you know God very well. But that does not mean that because you know God very well, you disregard what people say about something that you want to carry from them. Mm-hmm. You want to pick up a child. Mm-hmm. Ah, parents like do i don't know what the time my daughter wants to get married i don't know how i will feel mm-hmm. that i will carry a whole human being and give somebody out mm-hmm. and sit down it's even better with the guys mm-hmm. they are bringing wife to your house yes, you understand yes. but the woman somebody's coming out to take your daughter <laughs> in the night you'll be sleeping you'll be wondering <laughs> you point. understand mm-hmm. you just be thinking a lot of things you are wondering is she okay mm-hmm. is she well taken care of see i was married but my father, not like uh, I'm not married anymore. Mm. Yeah. When I got married, I was married and my father was giving my wife money. I tell her, don't tell him. Mm. Just between this. You come on, you will share money. Sometimes you give her more than my sisters. Mm. But you know women, she will tell. Mm. Your dad gave me this or your dad gave me that after she has spent the dough. <laughs> your dad has given me your dad. Has <laughs> but that's, that's a father's love because mm. my father was looking at her, not as his son's wife. But daughter. also as his own daughter. Yes. My father, sometimes you hear, you just speak phone and call uh, his daughter and, ah, are you guys okay? <laughs> okay, you are sure you are fine? Talk. This this our pension. They say tomorrow or next though. Once he comes, I'll send something to you. Mm. And you send small, small like that before he even gives his wife. Mm. Because he knows the situation at home. So he's not sure of that one. Yes. So let me deal with that mm. one first. Men are like that. Mm. So when you carry your daughter and give out, mm. men should understand that it's a very difficult thing. We, we, we will not go out and cry at the reception Mm-mm. because we have cried already. And when mm. you go, we'll still cry as a man, as a woman, as a parent. Mm. So we should understand that love and bright pride, just, just be willing to let one go mm. if you are not too sure mm. what will follow mm. later. Mm. If you are not too sure what will follow later. Because man, some people can take this in, this small chicken that somebody did not get a piece to eat. He will go and do a lot of diabolic things yes. until they come back to beg him. Mm. As little as that. You know, so that's um, going to be a wrap for today's life. Even though I have a feeling that the topic is not really dealt with because 
and uh, unfortunately we do not have comment on social media you know people will not comment mm. so that we don't know what they are going through mm. but believe me we have one on facebook yeah it's a stick on uh, facebook not on facebook on the whatsapp group. on the whatsapp group yeah. is it too long it's is it Shema? It's long. So is it Shema? Maybe we'll take it next. Is it Shema? Yes. <laughs> Brother Shema is a is a journalist. He should be <laughs> writing for for newspapers and, and all that because he has never written a short thing. Mm. But we should try and see how that maybe next week mm. we should check on yeah. his. Um, uh, I know a lot of people there are, are watching. There are others too that have sent private messages. So okay. We'll take it. So I'm so grateful. Thank you for the time, Solo, Jemima, Thank Joyce. You, mm. you know and. Um, cast crew everybody who are grateful thank you so much for watching today's live on Equa television bright prize and love what did you learn thank you Equa executive for giving us the opportunity to be able to teach someone certain things about life and Equa tv supporters we are grateful please be kind to one another stay out of trouble we see you tomorrow at 11 a.m as we discuss something important with you bye bye and have a great day